Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sound, and I'll be bringing you top five reasons why Bandana D should be in Smash Bros. Number one, he's fresh as fuck. That bandana on his head is a sign that he is from Compton, a real gangster, and unlike all of these other pussy-ass bitch characters, you know, like Mario, from the fucking Bloods, yeah, Bandana D, he's a fucking crip. He can say the N-word. Legend has it that Bandana D even knows the location of the long-lost Tupac. They say that Sakurai and Nintendo were too afraid of Bandana D's sheer power and overall knowledge of the world that they didn't want to put him in the game because they felt like they would grossly misrepresent him. But that shouldn't even really matter because Ridley's in the game and he's not even as large as he should be. Number 2. He's Iconic If you all remember, his first game was Kirby's Return to Dreamland, the game that swept the nation by storm. It was the literal Fortnite of its time, but nobody would have believed that he would not be making his return into Smash Bros, especially since his pivotal role in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, where he was the lead and most powerful specialist in the game, Prophet. And who could forget his all-star role of the O in Mario Odyssey? Honestly, I'm quite shocked about how many games he's appeared in, despite never actually getting his future in Smash Bros. It's almost as though Nintendo doesn't like the character, due to him being essentially a Goomba with a hat. And number three, he's not even really a just a Goomba with a hat. He has a spear. Have you seen him? He has a parasol. He could combine the two and become the most powerful character known to man in all of video gaming history. Nobody would stand up to the crushing might of Bandana D. Honestly, it's baffling that you foolish humans would think that you could stand a chance against him. This is why he's not in Smash. It's because he's too powerful. He would destroy the entire roster. You will never see your favorite character in another game again. You know why? Because Bandana D owns them now. He destroyed them. He took all their stocks, their stamina, their time, their money matches. You guys thought that Kirby was the most powerful character in his own game? You fools. You didn't turn your heads to think and look. Oh man, there's Bandana D right there. He was sitting beside in King Dedede's battle in Kirby Superstar Ultra. You just didn't pay any attention. And on to number four. I think it's just a little bit unfair that he can't be in the game considering that he actually pays his taxes unlike a certain Yoshi. Yeah, I'm not trying to call it any names, but Yoshi, you better start paying them taxes before the IRS comes in. You thought that sacrificing Black Yoshi and wrapping yourself up in wool was going to protect you? Well, I'll tell you what, the IRS, they've got shooters everywhere, snipers, on the rooftops, waiting for you. You ever try to step in a bank, they're gonna know. They saw that you didn't do your taxes. Good luck getting your money up. Alright, and number five, he would actually be a good character. Because, unlike Kirby, he doesn't have a mouth, so he can't suck dick. Honestly speaking, how many games has it been? Since, like, what, Smash 64 was the last time Kirby was actually considered to be good? In Smash 4, he was viable, but, you know, he, you weren't gonna win any tournaments with him. In Melee, he was trash, so... It'd be nice to just have something to stir the pot a little bit, you know? Because I'm really getting sick of playing at the most garbage character in almost every Smash game. I mean, seriously, man. Kirby's Kill Confirm is a freaking forward air fast fall. You gotta hit the first hit into forward smash. And it's just really annoying because every time you try to go for it, somebody just hits you because it's so slow. Like, come on, man. Sakurai. Somebody. I know somebody in that dev team was like, uh, yeah, but uh, Kirby, Kirby's looking kind of bills right now. I, I think we should actually nerf him a little bit, you know, in Smash 4. Uh, he was just a little bit too good. Kirby shouldn't be good. We need him to be trash so it doesn't look like favoritism. Can I get an amen? Sorry, we're not here to talk about Kirby. We're here to talk about the young fresh prince of Dreamland, Bandana D. So number six is that if LeBron can be on the Lakers and Bandana D can be a Smash character. All right, so if you guys are only here for the joke parts, you can click off the video now. I just, that, th that was five reasons. So that's going to be it for the, uh, jokes of the video. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people say that Bandana D shouldn't be in the game because, you know, he's just a Goomba with a hat. But, um, you know, Bandana D actually has a spear and you could pull from the, um, other movesets of the other wildies. Like, you know, you could pull from Parasol if you want. You could pull from Waddle Do, kind of like Super Smash Flash does. They don't have to just use the spear because, you know, with Captain Falcon, he doesn't even get out of his car in his games, but they made a full moveset for him. So there's no real excuse for, oh, well, you can't really do much with a spear. Like, they could do whatever they want. These are Nintendo. If they wanted to, they could just copy and paste the Super Smash Flash moveset over to Smash Ultimate and just, you know, redo some animations. You know, obviously they gotta do models for him because it's not a sprite-based game like Super Smash Flash is. But, you know, it wouldn't be too hard for them. Uh, it would be hard because, you know, game making is hard. Developing, they gotta code all that. But they gotta give it a K-hat. Like, you know, 
you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. Anyways, that's just going to be it for my little tangent. You know, I really do want Bandana D in the game, but, so I'm a little bit passionate about this. But I do feel like I should, you know, make some memes about it. You know, you can't be too serious about everything in life. So that's going to do it for the video. I will see you guys in the next one. It'll probably be something called, like, Link is Nasty or another Keeping It Classy. But it'll probably be Link is Nasty. I'm getting a lot of clips right now. So with all that said, uh, goodbye.